If you're struggling to get organized this Christmas, this video is for you. Now, my family, year after year, we put out a family newsletter and we organize gifts and the whole, you know, nine yards, right? And it's like we're starting over from scratch every single time. And finally this year we buckled down and said enough is enough and I built an Airtable database that's going to help us pick up where we left off every year so we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. In addition to that, this video is going to go through a really a couple of really cool use cases where we are going to eliminate a lot of steps from our normal planning process. So if this sounds like something that could be of interest to you and if you're ready to get organized this holiday season, it's not too late. Check out this video. Hi, I'm Gareth Pronovost and I help my clients build automated systems using Airtable and Zapier so that they have more time to work on their business instead of getting stuck in their business. As I mentioned in the intro in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some Christmas list uh, organization inside of Airtable. And uh, But before we get into it, if you are looking to learn more about Airtable, this is the place for you. Definitely click subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on the new content that I release on a weekly basis. But without further ado, let's jump on in. So taking a quick look at this, we see that we've got two major tables. We have people and we have addresses. And I'm going to walk from left to right through the table and kind of demonstrate how it uh, or what it's used for and, and all the different functionality here. So first thing I'm going to do is increase the row height to tall so that we can see how the addresses are pulling through. You'll see that we have a couple of hidden fields and these are uh, useful for the formulas that we have built. You don't need to touch or mess with these at all. It is uh, it's all behind the scenes. So what we have is the ability to enter name and so we can just enter a new you know person here this is going to be uh, example person and you'll notice that automatically the name is going to fill out once the uh, formula has kind of processed and then we also here so that's first and last name we also have a card name and you'll notice that on the printable addresses here we have uh, we have the full address that is linked to this uh, this record and the addresses of course are in the next table which we'll go go over in just a moment but uh, before we before we get there if you want to change the card name for anybody you can do that and the reason might be you know instead of saying uh, dear you know mr. and mrs you might instead want to address a card to the blank family right and so you have the ability to overwrite and so let me just go ahead down here and show you like instead of this one, which now currently says Frank and Abby Johnson, we can change that to just say the Johnson family by uh, updating their card name. And once the formula has had a moment to think, you'll notice that that is what will populate here. And so that, that's a really nice and easy way for you to be able to keep track of people in the base, but then also assign a less formal name to them for the purpose of addressing these uh, envelopes. All right. So that is the card name field. We also have the address field. This is where we're going to link to addresses. I'll get to that in a moment. Now we also have the from. And now I don't know about you, but a big part of uh, you know kind of figuring out the holidays uh, from from my family's perspective is making sure that everybody on a personal level in my family has thought of all of the people that are in our you know personal circles, right? So my wife has you know folks that she sends stuff to. I have folks that I send stuff to. We we send stuff to folks together, and uh, and then even our kiddo, you know, uh, contributes uh, with her list. So this is the place where you can kind of go in there and customize that and add new people within your family, so that you can very quickly and easily see your group of folks that you're sending stuff to and run through your you know mental rolodex, making sure that you didn't leave anybody out. So uh, you can just change that here uh, and assign you know, these, uh, these people to uh, different folks within your family. Now the other part, uh, this printable address, this is going to update automatically once we've connected an address to the folks here. And then sometimes uh, this delivery field here, this relates to how we are going to deliver the, the gift or, uh, or the letter. In a lot of cases, we work with people on a regular basis, we see them on a daily basis, and there's no need to put something in the mail for them. So for those folks, we're going to hand deliver, and the advantage there is we don't need to have the address on file. But sometimes, 
more often than not, uh, we're sending stuff in the mail. And so for those folks, we're going to select mail. Now, a nice function about this is this person is going to get flagged with, uh, with this logic here that uh, turns this record yellow, as you see. And basically what this is doing is it's saying, if you've selected mail to send something to somebody and you don't have an address on file, we're gonna flag that. It's just a nice, easy check that's built into the system to make sure that, uh, that you have all the addresses that you need. And then of course, if you are sending a Christmas letter, uh, you can check this box and this is going to uh, update in the blocks, which we'll look at at the end. So really quickly, let's jump into that address field and let's find an address for example person. So uh, here we just list out the street address, the city, the state, and the zip code. Of course, these are all fake addresses, but I think you get the picture. And then we have a little uh, formula over here that's adding and combining that. We can add multiple people to the same address, and this is particularly useful. Let's say example person was going to be spending the holidays at Frank and Abby Johnson's. Well, we might want to send two letters to the Johnson address. And so that is how we can do that. And so now you'll see that example person has been assigned to the same address as Frank and Abby Johnson, and, uh, and, but each of these has a unique uh, way that we're gonna address that envelope. And so that's how this whole thing works. It's gonna help us organize the, both the people and also the addresses for all the folks that we are uh, sending stuff to this year. Now, lastly, let's jump into the blocks, and this is where we're gonna really uh, take some shortcuts that are gonna save us some time year over year. So we've got a couple of things calculating here. One is we're automatically adding up all of the letter count. I don't know about you, but every our family, you know, we produce a, a yearly newsletter, right? That uh, kind of like a year in review. And th every year we're sitting there counting up the number of letters that we plan on sending. So this is automatically doing that based on how many times we've checked these boxes off. So that's one steps, uh, one, one saver. Uh, but the, the bigger one is coming down here into the uh, page designer. And what this is doing is it's, let's go ahead and expand this. This is going to allow us to print up our envelopes directly from our computer and not have to sift through and do all of the, you know, uh, looking up of addresses and copying and pasting and all of that. This is going to automatically update with all of the addresses for the folks that we are sending to. You'll notice, again, going back to that example from earlier, we've got the Johnson family on Example Road. And if we jump back to Example Person, who we said uh, was going to be spending Christmas with them, uh, we have the same one here. And so this is a really easy thing now that you can just print. You can print all of these in, uh, you know, in a row and they're set up to just print automatically onto these. You can also edit the, uh, the return label here with your own information. Just do so right here, and anything that you enter here will automatically show up on this and uh, save you the hassle of having to handwrite or stamp your uh, return address letter after letter after letter. Hey, as always, I hope you found this to be really helpful. Uh, I know this veered away from my normal content, which is usually more business related, but uh, still important use case nonetheless. I hope it really helped you get organized this Christmas. If learning more about Airtable is something that's of interest to you, make sure you click subscribe before heading out of here and, uh, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any uh, specific work you'd like to talk to us about having done in Airtable, there's also a link below in the description that will allow you to put some time on my calendar and we can have a chat and see if Airtable might be a good fit for you. In the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.